What is going on there guys? Welcome back to the Huddersfield Town Career Man FIFA 21. I hope you're having a great day guys. We're going to get straight into the action. We are in September. Also we are out of the transfer window. If you didn't catch the last episode go check it out because we did make quite a few signings as well as we got the season started. Let's have a quick over recap of what we did in the previous transfer window. Um, So we'll go to hours. Let's look at hours. <laughs> so we also our big big player who we brought in was uh, Emerson Royale. He was our main. We got him in a couple of episodes back. Last episode we swapped in Harry Fuller for Zubi Mendy, who is a backup centre mid for us. Got Renier in. We got Luke Thomas in for ten million as well. What I think will become a pretty good deal for us. Borowski, he came in, he actually got two on his debut. Pretty good play as well. We did like lose people like Pippa, Tafolo, even Ida, um, Matt Seam as well. All right people have been here for a few years now. They have all gone. But now we, we're going to get straight into the action, guys, because honestly, we have no time to waste now. We've only got a few more days before FIFA 22 drops, and I really want at least, at least want to get one more season done of his Huddersfield Town career, maybe even rush through um, a last season if we get to the end of it, but at least want to try and get through at least one more season. And by the way, absolutely amazing, Timber has made it up to an 80 overall, what is absolutely amazing. Tony's gone up to an 84 as well, he's still growing, that is brilliant to see. Dixon, hopefully he keeps going, but we're going to simulate this game against Watford, we're going to get past this one, we're going to be simulating a few more oh my god what the hell oh my god we had an absolute what for the 20th by the way what the what is with this save and us simulating games honestly i am simulating games and i'm losing probably about a good 80 percent of these games they are really really mess messing us up right now and we were doing really well in the league as well. We were doing really well. That is very, very disappointing to me. Bloody hell, Watford, come on. At least get a point, at least. But anyway, we'll be playing our first game of the episode. What will be our first game against uh, Panathikos. Uh, obviously, it's our first ever Europa League game. As I said, we'll be playing a few, couple more games in this episode. But also, we'll be getting through this month at least. And then we'll be... We have got a big month of football coming in October with three big games against City, Chelsea and Spurs as well as a game in Europa League and Southampton but in this one we have Man United and Liverpool. This could really, them results could really really be important to what we got to do for the rest of the, se rest of the season like if we're going to have a good Premier League season. We need to get a few wins out of them because this was the kind of point we made last time we kind of lost quite a few of the big games. But either way, we will be playing this first game against Panathikos because obviously it is our first Europa League game. Maybe uh, the other games will simulate a couple. Probably the only other one I'll probably play is the Marseille game. Um, but I will be shortening the highlights to a lot of these games, mainly showing you the goals, the big chances, the fun parts. It'll be a lot more put down than usual just because we're going to be getting through a lot more of the season than usual. So obviously, just bear with me. I'll be trying to. I'm trying to get a lot of videos kind of ready. You may even get a few double uploads a day, and we'll see where we we'll go. It's a big, big day for Huddersfield Town. Our first piece of European action for Huddersfield. We're against uh, Panathinaikos, a team I can't really say where they're from, but it is Europa League. I would have loved it if we did get in the Champions League for sure because it means if we even would at least have had a chance to do something in the Champions League in this year depending on how long we can do this series for because as I said as soon as FIFA 22 we were switching over to that I'm quite disappointed that we haven't been able to do a little bit longer in this in this career mode but I promise you because we've had to cut this one short I will be doing another Huddersfield Town career run in the future maybe in FIFA 22, maybe in the back end again, or maybe in the middle. Um, but 
We'll see. We'll see how we go. Love it. They saw up as well seeing the graphics and us actually being out there in Europa League. We've finally got some European action going on and we could. I think honestly, with looking at the teams that are in it, we have a real, real chance of winning this competition. This and the Premier League are my main concerns. The other ones, they are secondary. So like we got a cup match against Leicester, I am simming that. Until we get really deep in the competitions, they are secondary. Is there any players in here I can actually recognise? Not really. I really can't say I know it's any of them. A lot more Greek than all else, I don't know. It may be Greek, I don't know. But I have, I have put out my best team out today. We have got a big match coming up against Manchester United, but I really wanted to have a best start here. To be honest, in hindsight, I wish I took a few players off, but we'll be fine. If I have to make a change for the Man United game, I will. But we'll get into that. Let's get into this first game. But well, we're playing this. Let's get uh, back on track after that shock sim against uh, Watford. Let's get a big win in our first Europa League game. Koku gets in there straight away. I want a fast, fast start. I want a, I want a big, big goal drought here. I want to absolutely massively get. Oh, Tony was nearly through. I think Daniel Mauer. Can't say I, I know too much about these. I think they may be Greek. I don't know. Right, Tessin Young's there. Uh, Dan Juma. Oh, not the way that I wanted that pass to go. Oh, and that is a brilliant tackle by Timber. And that is a great... And Tony... Oh, he's missed it. I thought he killed that beautifully. It was a great, great pass down to Tony. And Tony did brilliantly just to get rid of his marker. Putting, putting together a movie of Pan of Kos. Oh, my God. I think that's a penalty. On the absolute line, Koku Matic is giving away a penalty. Oh my god, are you shitting me? He's going right. Yes, Dixon gets it! Oh, Dixon! In Sims, you're shit, but in, for me, you're absolutely ma fa fabulous. I love it. Now, Ryan Session, can we get something here? Oh my god. No, what is that? Why did Sessignon slow down? Oh, we forced the goalkeeper to put it out. But thank the Lord, that's like the second one he saved today, in the or in this season. Dominguez, oh, not enough, no power in that or direction as I wanted that. Timber! Timber! Oh, he's off the fucking bar! Are you serious, man? We've got to be putting these chances away. Timber puts him off and off. Session him brilliant. Oh, back for you from Dominguez. Danjuma! Oh, came off him. Koku. Daniel Marlin. Oh, he's saved by the keeper. Danjuma. Oh, there it is. Danjuma gets our first Europa League goal. Danjuma, who's been an absolute brilliant player this season so far. He got a hat trick in the last episode. Absolutely fantastic. We've finally broken this uh, goalkeeper. Daniel Marlin, I didn't mean to, but he kept possession for us. 
fell to Danjuma and he gets his first Europa League goal for Huddersfield Town and we get our first ever Europa League goal. Oh my god, that was late. You've got to be shit. You've got to be shitting me. He's got another penalty. Are you shitting me? And Dixon is it again. This is ridiculous. This is actually ridiculous now. How was that a foul? How was that a foul on that guy anyway? I mean, thank God Dixon saved it again. Thank God this bloody guy can't save, get a penalty to save his life. They've had two cheap penalties. Holy crap, we need to sort our shit out right now. Against the bad team, we've been screwed. Koku! Oh my god! What a rocket by Koku, our Turkish Kante! He's absolutely walloped that one into the top corner. The goalkeeper couldn't even move. But it's absolutely sensational. Look at this, Tony just bringing the players to him. He sets it up, he takes a touch, bang! Top corner, top bins, no chance, but no keeper would have got anywhere near that. That is an absolute scorcher. Just after we just got away with a penalty. Holy crap, guys, what a first game. What a first game. You can't say this game's not been entertaining. Oh, Cocky got a little bit. A little bit smushed out there. But that's brilliant from Emerson Royale. And he sees Luckman. Luckman sees it. Daniel Martin! Oh, he's coming off him. Oh, Daniel Martin! He's coming again! He's another save! And Luckman! Oh my god, this is just, this is like pinball. Oh, Dominguez went out and then there. Oh, Dixon, thank god. That's the first bit of good play they've actually put in. Oh, Dixon gets that away with that. Dominguez. Tony! Oh, it's a brilliant, brilliant goal! Ivan Tony gets a, a goal for himself. It's a good delivery by Dan Juma. Good work by Luckman on the other side as well. Put it out to Dan Juma. Dan Juma just stood it up. And Tony's so good in the air. That's why he's one of his best traits. Gets up against the centre back. Just get on his back. Bang, bottom corner. I will be looking to make some changes very very soon because obviously now that the, the results should be in no doubt oh brilliant Luckman's got a lot of space out here and Luckman can maybe go the whole way and Luckman he's got a step stay down the keeper but the goalkeeper comes out on top and that shows there again oh I have brought the on Reina and Karoma That is beautiful. That is beautiful by Adam Luckman. He's been brilliant today. Fabulous and 4 0. Robertson gets uh, involved. He gets an assist for this as well. Look about a little bit of shimmy. Makes a room. Adam Luckman gets his first goal. We are having a frenzy. It may have gone a different way if they scored that penalty, but they've not really shown any like proper class. Didn't want that shot either. There's a few things not happening what I don't want to be happening, but we are. But anyway, it's 4-0, a bit of a messy match. 
we're kind of lucky we weren't any better than they were. But we were couldn't have come when we needed to. We got the goals we wanted. We would have still won even if them penalties would have happened. But anyway, I'll tell you about the first win in Europa League. That is a big way to go in towards getting out of this group. Brilliant work that. Love to see it. We get the 4-0 win over Panathikos. And now we've got a game against Man United. What is a big one. And my God, two days after that. Because obviously Europa League usually happens on a Thursday. You're usually playing on a, on a Saturday or Sunday. Wow. To be honest, my team's not looking too bad, to be quite fair. There may be some changes to make down the line in the game. But right now, there's not many changes I'm going to really make. To be quite fair, I can probably keep the majority of my team out there. But either way, we are against Man United. This is going to be back-to-back -back games. Let's do it. Got a bit embarrassed here last time we played Man United. So let's hope for not may that happen. I have actually been able to pretty much keep my best starting 11 out there. Bar from Emerson, Lutman and uh, Koku. I brought in Fernandez, Coroma and Laird. So not bad replacements by any stretch. They are my backups for that position anyway. Just because they're a little bit more tired. They are on the bench if needed. So don't, don't you worry about that. But we should have a good enough squad to get to deal with this. Let's hopefully try and get a get win here against Man United. Unfortunately, that one gets uh, caught out by Tellers. That's a good, good tackle by the former United man in Ethan Laird. And we get it back quite quick. Oh, we're getting through here. And Broby's there! That is just knife through butter. What the hell was that? Why was Fernandez just left? Greenwood turned Sassion far too easily. And we are already down. Are you kidding me? Oh, Dan Juma. Can he turn one Saki? Yes, he can. And Dan Juma, can he get away? No, he's fucking not. Of course, one massacre just turns his fucking turbo engine on and fucking gets right after him. It was fucking dominating him there, but then suddenly it just switches on you. Wow, what could die? They're just sweating it like sweaty little bastards. Fuck off. Fucking Fernandez. Fucking so OP in this game. And fucking Broby. Fuck off, dude. Oh my god. And he still keeps it for his team. Are you fucking kidding me? How did they get it from behind me? Especially when they're fucking just doing that all the time. And look at that. You fucking close them down once. They put it over your fucking... Right, this game. This game is fucking out the window. Fuck next week. Get this fucking game out of my fucking room. Honestly, this is fucking ridiculous. And I went right way and then Broby just put it in top corner. Fuck off. This game is a fucking atrocious. This game's shit. This fucking game is shit. It's so broken. It is so broken. That wasn't even a foul! Rashford didn't even go down! Oh, this is just a fucking dreadful game. Fucking dreadful game! I'm not funny. Look at my time! Where are they? No one is there! No one is on the fucking defensive! This is fucking horrible. This is fucking atrocious. This is fucking horrible. I hate it. I am fucking hating this! Oh my god, they're fucking blocking everything! But you know why? Because they've got their fucking midfielders coming back! None of mine did! And you just, they just, every tackle is making for them. I can't seem to get anywhere near their fucking goal. 
Oh, this has just been a poor performance from start to finish. And next, we've got fucking Liverpool. Like, fucking hell. This is just... What? Fuck this game off. Fuck it off. They didn't even do anything to us in the second half. They just fucking run rampant in the first half. Like, honestly, we couldn't get anywhere near them. My midfield don't track back. They just decide what games they want to track back in. Fuck that game, honestly. This game, I don't know if it, just because there's a new game coming out, they've just fucked it off. They made everything else even more shit than usual. I'm quick simming this EFL Cup because I'm honestly, I don't give a shit about the e EFL Cup or the FA Cup. I'm fucking hell, I don't give a shit about it. And we win. Like, honestly, what the fuck? I'm keeping my best team out there. I'm not messing with it because Karoma, Fernandez. I can't say much about Laird. Laird actually was probably one of the better of the lot. But then the other two, Karoma and Fernandez, had a shit game. Had an absolutely, absolutely awful, awful game. Really, really could do a result here just to get ourselves back on track because that lot, we beat Panathacos 4 0. Then we got beat 4 0 by Man United. It's just, it's one step forwards, two step backs, and I don't like it. Fucking Bobby Firmino's going a long way. I don't like that. My midfield needs to wake the fuck up. Didn't really get to have a look at, at the Liverpool team, but honestly, I just want to try and get any action for a lot of these games now. Oh my god. Are you fucking serious, ref? Are you fucking serious, ref? You are a joke! You are a fucking joke, ref! Get the fuck out! And he's just given him a free kick in the most fucking goal ridden area. See? That would have been a fucking goal. It still could be. That was a joke. That was never a fucking go a free kick. And they can go fuck off. Honestly, with that. Donya Marlin, keep fucking running, dude. Oh my god, where, where are these guys coming from? They just have sudden bursts of pace from random places. Jesus Christ, where is Cochran and Dominguez? They're so fucking stagnant. If Dominguez is behind Fabinho, he needs to be tracking him. I'm getting so fucking sick of having to do it myself. Oh, Daniel Marley. He's not going to be able to do Alexander Arnold as well. Oh, look, man. Look, man. Oh, yes, that is what you call a counter attack. Finally. We've managed to get our fast players. Daniel Marley, for the first time in the second game, finally managed to get him on the counter. And he pulled everyone towards him. Luckman was the only other man unmarked. Dominguez sets it up. Oh, and he puts a pass out, so thank the bloody lord for that. Oh, I do. Dominguez. Dominguez, oh my god. Dominguez, what the hell has this come from? Dominguez! Oh, he's, in a, he's absolutely crackled it. He's absolutely cracked the, the, the crossbar. But where the hell did that power come from? He just burst through. He got past Kosterman. Van Dijk was nowhere to be seen. Holy crap. That was better. Oh, Luckman keeps hitting. Robertson. Sells him. Luckman's still going. Luckman's still going. Luckman, oh! How are we managing three on fucking two? That's better. Around the corner. Daniel Marlin. Oh, he's got the pace and cost him. Daniel Marlin! Oh, he's missed. He's done the exact same thing Tony did in the last game. 
Just not enough curl. Oh, good, good, good. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay, shouldn't have the pace to keep up with Whitman. And he doesn't. Whitman! Oh, I push it wide! We're gonna fucking ruin these chances if we don't put them away. Oh, Sal's gonna get that. That's brilliant. Fabinho. Dominguez. Oh, yes, brilliant pass. And now Mane is the one chasing back, and he's absolutely drained. He's absolutely drained. Pulls it back! Marlon with a tap in! Look who has put it on a plate for him! Come on, boys! Love it! Oh, we're in for a big win. I don't know if Liverpool have lost yet, but we're on our way to getting them beat. We can't call it too early. You remember what happened last time? We, we had a, quite a few times we absolutely bottled it. Got to make a few subs, bring a few people off. But brilliant, brilliant work. Yeah, that is brilliant. And now it's round the side for Luckman. Oh, and Alison's such a big bastard. Oh, that's brilliant. And yeah, pulled him out of position. And Donya Mullen! He's got his second today. Renier put the ball round the corner for him. Easy as you like. New boys involved, love to see it. Just got to the edge of the foot, but now Liverpool are trying, we're trying to press us. That works for us. When we're ahead, it works, because that means we're, we're having to come out more. Oh, what a save by Dixon. Absolutely brilliant, and this clean sheet will do in the world of good. Especially after the calamities the last. But of course, of course we're not going to get... What the fuck are you doing going to your manager? You absolute plonker. Get a, get a life. Honestly, get a life. Oh, honestly. The mentality of this game sometimes. Nothing has indicated there will be a minimum of three minutes of any time. Oh, good. Dominguez! Oh! Gets that one straight back and we get 4 1. Again, then, yeah, having him up front a little bit is quite good because he's got that little bit of a cam touch. So he's good at his passing, he's good at everything else. Look at that. That is an amazing pass just behind Cater into Dominguez's feet. And he gets another assist. Dominguez gets his first goal of the Premier League. Come on. I'll take that. I'm a bit, I'm a bit down for Dixon. He did brilliantly. He made so many good saves. But you know what? He'll still, he should still have a good rating. But come on, boys. Bloody hell, four goals have become a bit of a habit in these games. But I like it when we're on the right end of them. We will be sitting for the last one. We will be simulating this game against Marseille. We will be playing the game at Marseille, probably. Um, these are going to be the hard. Gee, actually, to be honest, oh, I'm looking at that team. That team's actually really good. But you know what? I'm going to simulate because I've played three games already in this episode, and I do want to get into the next month. So, going to simulate. Please, come on, get a win, boys, at home. Can we do it? We get a draw. Okay. It looks very even, so okay. I'll take that. It's a draw. But we will be playing more Europe Europa League games going forward. But obviously, as I said, I've got to make some sacrifices. Like, I'm going to have to skip a few games, what I wouldn't usually do, so I can, so I, we can get to a certain point in Karima where we feel like we've done a decent enough job. Obviously, I'd have loved to have gone maybe another four or five seasons deep in this Karima, see where some of the youngsters would have gone and all that stuff. 
but unfortunately we're not going to be able to. I don't want to waste any time getting to FIFA 22, so I'm trying my best to, to get some point in this career where we can say we've done a good thing. So if we can get to a Europa League final and win the Europa League, even get in, maybe next month, if we can sort out another season, if I can maybe get another one done, I'd have to absolutely try my hardest with it. But either way, I will, obviously I'll try my hardest for you guys. We are getting to that point where I'll probably simulate this game. If we get through to that, if we get past this round, we'll be in the quarterfinals. I, I will be sort of taking it more seriously at that point. Maybe I'll be visually simming it more than actually quick simming it, but we'll get to that point in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please like these videos and subscribe to the channel. I'll be trying to get these videos out as quick as possible for you guys. But until next time, I've been a Hawkeye Punisher. Until next time, I am out.